Hello, I'm Denis Dubois from Product Marketing for Secure Microcontrollers. I'm in charge of SIM and Embedded SIM solution for IoT, industrial and automotive markets. Today, I would like to talk about our demo eSIM Route of Trust, which introduces a wide range of security services that are enabled by our partner Kudeski. ST has pre-integrated the Kudeski IoT security client into their product to simplify access to these services. Later, Jose Pont from uh, Kudeski will talk you through this demo. So, it's based on our uh, developer kit. This is how a small low-power module is provide a cellular connectivity solution to any IoT device, whether a medical device, an industrial gateway, or an automotive system and a set tracker. The module uh, includes different elements, but uh, for this demo, I'm focusing on two parts. First, in the SCM32 MCU, Kudeski integrates a security client library. This library provides to the designer or customer access to the rich set of APIs enabling a key security features such as end-to-end -end data encryption. Next, in our st 4 sim 200 m Kudeski integrates its root of trust application. Actually, the st 4 sim 200 m is our ST embedded SIM solution, also called embedded SIM. That is a GSMA compliant and qualified for industrial market. This solution offers a complete and secure ecosystem, including a secure hardware, temper resistance and common criteria EL5 plus certified, that provide the customer with the highest security level. Also, software compliant with GSMA M2M specification, working with trusted connectivity partners, Arkesa, ARM, and Truffaut. It provides a scalable and secure cellular connectivity for the customer. For this demo, we include the cellular connectivity and the remote platform from Truffaut. Okay, enough from me. Let's hear from Jose Pond from Kudeski. Thanks, Denis. The Kudelski IoT security client provides a unique and robust identity that enables many different security features, from encryption of data on the device to encryption of data end-to-end -to, -end to an application server, including remotely authorizing functionality on that device or a set of devices. All of these features are available out of the box with the module. They have been pre-provisioned in the eSIM, which is a certified secure element, so that you, as a device manufacturer, do not have to embed a separate secure element to protect your secrets, and you do not have to provision any of those unique secrets into your production flow. Now, let's imagine this is a finished environmental monitoring and tracking device, and you are shipping 100,000 of these devices to MyTracker Co. MyTracker Co. has developed an application in Microsoft Azure that uses Azure IoT Hub to identify and manage its devices. Here, you can see my monitoring backend application. We want all of MyTracker Co.'s devices to connect to Azure IoT Hub. By clicking on this button here, this creates the necessary settings to automatically provision any device from MyTracker Co. to Azure IoT Hub, and it enables them to send data to Azure using the Azure SDK. Now, MyTracker Co. boots the device for the first time in the field. I'm going to simulate a boot here by pressing on the button. At first boot, the device connects to the Truffaut Global Network and then to the Kudelski IoT Security Server. The Kudelski IoT Security Server knows that the device should be provisioned to Azure IoT as it announces itself as a MyTracker Co. device. When it connects for the first time, the security server loads a security configuration into the device generates a key pair, and then requests signing of that key pair by the CA that was loaded into Azure IoT Hub. Once the certificate is signed, the device authenticates and connects to Azure IoT Hub and starts publishing sensor data network to the network. Now I can see that the device is available in the pull-down list here. And I can select it. And you can see the data that is being sent to Azure IoT Hub. There was no need to generate and provision an Azure IoT Hub certificate into your device. This was all done remotely and automatically. The certificate and the private key of the device was generated locally by the IoT security client in the secure SIM environment and accepted by Azure IoT. It just works. 
The same process that was done for Microsoft Azure IoT Hub can also be done for other cloud platforms such as AWS. Our security solution simplifies and secures your IoT deployments and is integrated with popular device management platforms. Zero touch provisioning is nice, but now that you have strongly authenticated your device, you will want to secure the data. With the Azure SDK, data is secured from the device to the Azure IoT Hub. But how do you secure all the way to your application logic? With the IoT security platform, you can specify what data on the device needs to be protected end-to-end -end, and if it needs to be protected for authenticity and integrity and also for confidentiality. For example, let's consider that this gyroscope data is measuring movements on a piece of critical infrastructure such as a bridge and an abnormal shaking is identified. What would happen if that data were to leak, showing that preventative maintenance had not been performed? Here, by pressing on this button, I'm going to start encrypting the data in order to protect it for the reasons I just mentioned. Now my data is protected all the way to the application server, which could be, for example, a distributed ledger of a blockchain. You see that the data is encrypted here and that the gorges are no longer moving and the accelerometer is no longer changing, right? This is because the data is encrypted and the user doesn't have access to the data. Let's give the user permission to read this encrypted data. Now my user has been granted access to the data. He can decrypt using the key retrieved from the IoT security server, or he could use that same device key to verify the signature of the data that was inserted into the blockchain. So as you can see, now the data is moving again. So as you can see, by working with ST, we are enabling IoT devices using ST's technology to leverage a robust secure element, ST-SIM, and embed Kudelski's security client to enable a wide variety of end-to-end -end connected security use cases without having to worry about the entire provisioning process. In this demo, we talk primarily about provisioning in the cloud and data confidentiality and integrity, but our technology also enables protection of FOTA enabling remote attestation, as well as other features like premium feature authorization, fine-grained access control, chip-to-chip -chip, and device-to-device -device security. Now, back to Denis. Thanks, Jose. So, to conclude, Kudelski and ST are offering together the first solution enabled to provide a very high-end security features in combination with a SIM connectivity addressing new markets. For more information, simply go to our website st.com slash st4sim.